Unfortunately, President Biden called me in for an exit interview. Ever since kicking me out of the United States, I assumed naturally that I would no longer be subject to the annual appraisal presidents hold for each citizen, wherein the president calls the central of Oval Office to identify what we've been doing well in areas of improvement. Sidebar, former President Trump actually put me on a performance improvement plan because I told him I didn't like it when he tried to grab me by the pussy. The plan is self justice The card written in cram. But fortunately, Biden lost no Trump's appraisals because he mistook the filing system for an assassin. I'm had them detonated by a drone. Anyway, Biden told me managing to find me despite my trying to lay low that I was to visit him in the Oval Office, where he'd have my beloved and cherished mother dragged before the hate for her innumerable war crimes. Dragging my feet to make it clear I didn't want to go. I made my way down to the Oval Office for my exit interview. On the way, a group of 42 little boys came out of the town and jeered at me, get out of here. Only which was odd because I have a resplendent set of hair on my soft little noggin. I quickly called upon the Catholic God to summon two sea bears to come out of the woods and they more those words. Regardless, I arrived in the Oval Office and was instructed by Biden to sit in a very rickety wooden chair. While Biden sat on his plush chair with Bill with massages, he shook his head, as though in disapproval of me. Unfortunately, he shook his head a bit too fast, his neck snapped, and he fell down dead. As if on Cuhava, a perfectly identical Biden stepped out from behind a curtain of the day. Biden out of the seat, then continued like nothing happened as the day Biden was dragged away by the Secret Service. Biden looked down his nose at me, then asked, Well, fat, how do you think you did? I opened my mouth, but Biden continued, Wrong answer. Jack, look at you with your stupid home wrecking face. What do you have that I don't fat? Why did you have to waltz into Barack in my life with your thighs that won't quit and mysteriously baby smooth feet? Just to steal them away with your brand of mindless shenanigans. You sicken me, Jack. You know what, fat? I never saw you as American even before this hell, kiddo. You keep calling pants trousers like you're some filthy limey or something. Do you know why you got kicked out of the United States of, of, you know the thing? Well... Wrong again, dumb dumb. It's like you've never even tried to think once in your life. You sicken me and every rational person in the world. All society would be better off if you got into one of, one of those Fred Flintstone airlines. Every second with you is physically painful, Jack. You're a liar, a murderer, a drunk, and a friend stealing whore. Now, that's the worst of it, Jack. I'm just as funny as you are. Why doesn't Obama love me anymore? I want to go get ice cream, but he keeps blowing me off. Always talking about a new adventure you've had or some funny joke you made or something. Was at this point, Joe Biden had a heart attack and dropped dead. A member of the Secret Service apologized, explaining this kind of thing is always happening. And yet another Joe Biden stepped out from behind the curtain. Or something equally stupid. Listen up and listen good, Jack, because I'm going to set you straight. That's right, kiddo. None of that is setting you bisexual nonsense. This is 100% pure no homo. Call up Obama and tell him to quit thinking about you and start thinking about me. I want Obama like I've wanted no other man. Again, Jack, no homo. Sort that out and I'll, gosh, I'll let you have your, Ameri your American citizen boat, despite how utterly worthless you are as a citizen, as a human being, and frankly, Jack, as a living organism. I let him know I see what I could do and stood up to leave. Biden also stood up to see me out, but unfortunately the blood pressure changed from Stan that killed him on the spot.